This is Sandra Havlick. She is the Community Programs Coordinator for the Renton Police Department, and she is about to win a national award from next door for the great work that she has been able to do uh, by using the Next Door app. So, Sandra, the first thing I'll have you do is uh, tell me just a little bit about what the Next Door app does for you as a uh, Police Community Programs Coordinator. Well, Nextdoor gives agencies such as ours, Renton Police Department, a chance to reach out and engage with just the community of Renton. Whereas different platforms might reach uh, the masses, uh, Nextdoor is actually tailored to specifically to Renton neighborhoods. So we really can communicate directly with them and they can reach us. So it's a perfect uh, tool for that kind of engagement. Now, what kind of messages would the police department put out on an app like Nextdoor? We do anything from uh, neighborhood watch programs, crime safety alerts. If we have a police presence in an area where maybe we're doing a canine track or a public safety awareness, we could use that. We can also talk about our community programs if we're looking for more volunteers, uh, maybe our, some of our programs like a vacation house check program. Just want to advertise kind of what services we offer as well. So all kinds of things. And I'm sure you let them know when there's fun community things like the night out or that sort of exactly, thing too. Exactly, exactly. Now, you uh, obviously are, are aware of how people in those neighborhoods use Nextdoor. Uh, for somebody who's never been on it, what could they expect should they get the app and start using it? Uh, I would say Nextdoor is a great tool uh, to have a face-to-face -face with your neighbors where we don't tend to do that anymore. So it's actually neighbors talking to neighbors. It can be anything from you are talking about suspicious activity you see in your neighborhood or you're looking for a good referral. It could be for landscaping or a babysitter, uh, just talking to your neighbors, maybe planning a picnic. It's a great way to engage with people, and it's all verified. So it, it, you are talking people directly in your neighborhood or in that area. So it, it's uh, the safety aspect is, is that way. They kind of protect and have it verified of who's actually talking in your neighborhood. Do you know how they go about that verification? There's, you could be, yes, there's a few ways you could verify uh, by your address and a billing, such as like an electric, uh, you know, bill. Uh, there's a code that can be given. Um, you receive it in the mail via like a postcard. Uh, and that way the person applying for it actually has to receive it at the address that they're saying they live at. Or you can be referred by a neighbor. That's one of the quickest ways. If you know someone already using next door, they can recommend and get you signed up and then you're verified through them. And this is something primarily used for them to talk to each other, right? It, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. And uh, I know you and I talked about it a little bit beforehand that uh, it's not a matter of renting police using next door to keep an eye on everybody. Exactly. Uh, what's great is the old the, the term people throw around, Big Brother watching. We are not watching. It's uh, we're as, as an agency, we get to post and share information that we think is important to you or that you may be interested in. But as a neighborhood community, uh, you're really protected from who's watching everything you say. So if you want to share something with the police, you really can just share it with us. We, we're not watching what the neighbors are talking about, uh, so you're kind of protected that way too. But if they need to reach out to you, what do they do? They can either send us a message, because we're listed in a directory, a staff directory for our police agency. They can send us a private message. Or if there's a, a post that concerns them, maybe there's some safety issues that people are talking about as neighbors, suspicious behavior, they could actually forward it to us that way and just share it with us to make us aware of a situation maybe going on in their neighborhood. What's the advantage of using Nextdoor over, say, Twitter or Facebook, where everybody seems to migrate? Well, like I was saying earlier, well, we use all those platforms, so there's a benefit to each one. Uh, I think Twitter is great for happening now kind of messages. Facebook is great for stories, information. That would cover anything. Uh, but what makes Nextdoor unique is when we're talking to the city of Renton, the way it is mapped out, uh, we have a message directly for the citizens of Renton and the community that we can put that out on next door, and it's not going to the masses. It's really for our community, and I can actually have police officers talk to a specific district that they're working. We can narrow it down, our message, to the exact neighborhood we want to say something to, or a district, or maybe it impacts the south end of the community. We can send a message to just half of them. So it's, it's a great tool to kind of really control what you're putting out there. See, and to me, the biggest advantage is that you don't have any outside interference, somebody who might be trying to undermine what you're doing. Yeah, correct. It's just, it's really people who are impacted by what we're saying and may need to know. And 
uh, are excited about the community they live in, and, and it's just, you know, the Renton night, so, so we get to talk to them. Any specific examples of where it's really come in handy, where you've used it? Uh, all kinds of things. I think like National Night Out, let's say that's coming up. It's a big event. Uh, you know, we're having cities, um, our cities like neighborhoods to register with us. So that is real specific to Renton. So even though we'll put it out on other platforms, uh, National Night Out does impact these individual neighborhoods. So they can, uh, that, that's a good way. Uh, directly, usually follow up with case information or suspicious activity. Let's say we had... Um, you know, a canine track the night before, or people in that community were wondering what was specifically happening in their neighborhood, right? Uh, that's a really good, um, you know, platform for us to just talk to them because that did impact them. And so those are, those are just a great tool for that. What do you know about this national award that Nextdoor is giving you? It, well, it's the first time. Uh, I do know that there's over 2,000 now agencies registered on Nextdoor using it, which, again, like I said, we're all discovering it's a great tool. Uh, I'm a huge champion anyway of Nextdoor just for our community and other agencies to use it uh, because it is so specific to the community. Um, but I think this, they've selected 35 uh, agencies or people, uh, apparently whatever, you know, we're doing out there, we're getting a lot of comments, replies, likes that uh, next door, you know, they uh, measure the statistics too. And so they sent us feedback, feedback on how well we're doing. And so uh, I guess it's just kind of an honor that we were chosen this year. So. Sounds like you're, they, they at least know you're getting a lot of traction with it and a lot of good use out of it. They, they really are. And they, keep, they actually keep in touch with you. So they're kind of a different, unique social media platform, if you want to call them that. But they do reach out to us directly and comment, give suggestions on things you can be using next door for. They have an agency talking board, so we can actually go to a community board and talk to other police about what's working for them, success stories, things like that. So it's a little different. It's, it's kind of a unique, like I said, platform, so I really enjoy it. Yeah, you must I'm be. Honored, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, you must be excited <laughs> to get that award. Yeah, because I, I do. I, I'm a true champion of it just by talking to our community about it, so it was, I really like it. Well, you've mentioned Night Out. Since I have you here, let's mm -hmm. talk about it. When is it? Where is it? And what do people need to know? Uh, National Night Out. Uh, it's all about crime prevention, getting your neighborhoods together, celebrating, you know, but also uh, working with your police departments and agencies uh, t just to prevent crime. You know, what can we be doing to help you and what can you do? Uh, you know, what tips we can do. Uh, so we'll be driving around, visiting neighborhoods that register. It's uh, always um, August 7th this year. I think it's the Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month. And so we'll be putting teams together, and we've got about 20 neighborhoods registered right now, and we'll be driving out to see them. So it's an exciting night. I know some other uh, agencies will do, like, neighborhood barbecues and that sort of thing. Are there any events for people to come to? We uh, have done that the last few years. We're now kind of the national platform, going back to when you personally can go to neighborhoods. Now that we're better staffed, as a lot of agencies have kind of been struggling with staff, in hiring these last few years, we're kind of geared up better now where we can go do that again and be out there and more more individual with a specific neighborhood, right, instead of the big barbecue or big event where you can't always get everybody to show up there. So we're going to go to them. We'll take it to them. That is wonderful. All right. Yeah. Sandra Havlick, the Community Programs Coordinator for Renton Police. Thanks, Sandra. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.